Hey guys, it's Green Zephyr. Today I'm going to be showing off this Lego set, 76940 T-Rex Dinosaur Fossil Exhibition. So this is another one of the uh, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Lego sets that came out this year. Um, so it comes with Owen, Darius, Baby Triceratops, and then the T-Rex fossil. It's 198 pieces. Okay, so first for the minifigures, we have Darius. So he has his little um, dinosaur tooth necklace. And then Owen, which for some reason he's in the set. Then we have the baby Triceratops, so this is basically um, the same as the other one except different colors. I don't know if the other one was like this or not, but this one actually is asymmetrical with the um, spots on both sides, um, which is interesting for these Camp Cretaceous Lego sets. Uh, Lego decided to start doing that with their dinosaurs. So this is the third one that I know of counting... Uh, the baby Triceratops, and then Toro, and then the T-Rex fossil. Okay, so then here is, so I'm, I'm assuming this is a whiteboard, um, but it could just be like a, I don't know, some kind of setup thing. But it looks to me like someone wrote on a whiteboard with this stuff. Um, so it has a plant here. And then a T-Rex tooth and then an egg with a light. And it has like wheels down here even though they're not actual Lego wheels. And so, yeah. Then we have the main thing of the set, the T-Rex fossil. And so in the front you can see, if I can get the glare off. So it has a little information pad that says 68 million years ago to 66 million years ago. And it shows like a size comparison between the human minifigure and the T-Rex figure. And then it shows that they live in the United States. Um, and then, so it has the base. I'm going to take it off of there, I guess. So it is only attached on by two studs right here. So here's the base. So yeah, it just, one of the feet stands on those two studs. And it has like a grate here. Um, so that's pretty cool and interesting piece. It's pretty simple actually for the base. Then we have the T-Rex itself. So here, let me move. Out. I'll just move over here. So here is the T-Rex itself. So T-Rex fossil. So it actually has a lot of movable parts. <coughs> so the claws they can all move up and down. Kind of hard to do one-handed. Uh, okay. Yeah, the claws can all move up and down. And then each arm can also move out and back in. And if you removed this piece right here, this tan one, you would actually be able to slide this piece of the arm up and down, so back and forth, and it would be able to bend the arm. But they decided to, like, honestly, if they would have put a round stud right here and then put a piece on top, then you could have swiveled the arm back and forth. Honestly, I do think it's kind of weird the way it looks like that, but it's fine. Um, and then the ribs. So... These can flip up. You can see the inside in there. It's hollow. And then these bars right here prevent these from going too far in. And then the legs have studs. Uh, these movable pieces here. So they can actually uh, spread out or go back in. And then here is another one. So you can position the feet. however you want to. Um, so let's see. 
Okay, there we go. Now I can set it back up. Okay, and then the tail, I'll actually. Okay, so then the tail is made up of um, five pieces here. So it has the very tip of the tail, and then each one of these has some vertebrae on it, and um, they're connected by pieces so that it's able to bend at any one of these um, points. And then the last one doesn't bend, but it's attached onto the main body. Um, and then actually, it has, if I can get the, give me a second. Okay. On the top, it has um, these, like, I guess these are the um, hip bones, so they can actually move up and down in their place. And then the thing that I um, wish they would fix, so as you can see with these pieces here, so it has a black part, and then this part of it is white. Now, on this particular one, if they made the whole thing white, then that would be more convenient convenient to how the um, to make it look more like a bone I guess instead of having some of it be black but and on this one so of course it's the same thing where this side has white and this side is black so on this side you see white here whereas on this side you see the black but um, and on these ones they can't really fix that because then uh, part of the like part that isn't the bone of the foot would be white but certainly on this right here, on that piece, they could fix it to have more white there on both sides. And then we have the head. So let's look at that. So it obviously is just like the heads of the other T-Rex figures that we've had in the past. And so jaw opens and closes. Um, and then you can see it's just like the skull of a dinosaur. It has the um, black parts where the holes would be. And so it has the eye and then the ear hole, nose. And it actually is asymmetrical as well, like what I was saying with the uh, baby triceratops and uh, Toro. You can see from the front view that it has a scar. Uh, well, I guess not a scar. Just a piece of damaged bone here. And then on this side... It has right here, and it doesn't on this side. Then it has one here on this side that isn't on that side. And then, of course, the ear holes are slightly different, too. Um, and then it also has the vertebrae on the back. And so this is actually a whole lot of pieces, and I really do like this one a lot. It's pretty cool, actually. Um... Certainly, it would also be awesome, I think, if they would make a set. Like, if, it would have been just as cool other than they would have had to have added more pieces of other things. But if they made this set where the entire it was, the entire skeleton was just a basic T-Rex, except it was, you know, the tan and the black, instead of being a whole bunch of pieces, if they made it only the typical nine, or however many, I think it's nine pieces, and then they just had it colored with the tan and black, I think that would be pretty cool as well. That would be like a cool skeleton T-Rex. Um, yeah. So I think that's pretty much it for the set. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Oh, there's one more thing. So this has a like baton here or just like a stick you could use. Um, so one of the minifigures can hold it and then use it to point at something on the board here. And so that's pretty cool. And I guess, yeah, the Triceratops can eat the um, plant. And then, of course, I didn't mention it, but you can take out the um, block in the middle here and then put a minifigure there, and then it will look like they're riding it. It's the same with the other Triceratops from the set with um, the baby and Kyla's horse in Dr. Wu's lab, and then some of the old horses. Okay, and I think that is it for the set, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.